we meet again. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my Chanel. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know some of y'all aren't. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay for my people who ain't enjoying it. It's almost over. It's almost over, y'all. And I know in the last story time, I was like, yeah, there's more. And everybody was confused and everyone was like, what do you mean there's more? Like, what are you talking about? I was thinking the same thing too. I, I was thinking the same exact thing too in the moment. So if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to first just say, give the video a thumbs up, y'all. Do it right before we start the video. Just go ahead and like the video before we start it or whatnot. Also, if you are new to this series, I am going to leave all the videos that you need to watch in the description box down below. Watch those videos before you come and watch this. If you watch this video first, you're going to be very confused. Let's get straight into it, okay? Because we got a lot to unpack in this story time. Where we last left off is that Legion ended up um getting caught i was at the airport and yeah that's where we last left off um at this point i'm telling myself I'm gonna get a story time on him like i just felt that legion just did way too much for me to not tell a story time on him if you get what i mean so that was just literally the only thing in my head the only thing in my head was like he has to get a story time on him because i just kind of felt like he made me look crazy for months and I was right about every single thing I accused him of. You know what I mean? So we went to New York. Um, the trip, New York was fun. Um, the first day it was not fun because all that shit happened the day that I was traveling. The first day I was in my feelings a little bit, but my friends, like my friends are one of a kind. And that's why when you guys were saying like, I have bad friends, I was like, I really don't. Like I don't have bad friends, all jokes aside. Like my friends are very, they're just I have very like spiritual friends like I have friends that pray over me I have friends that speak life into me like I have very good friends so they were just like talking to me and giving me advice and they just they cheered me up honestly like the trip was so freaking fun and honestly speaking I feel like God is so good because God orchestrated everything in such a good manner because I personally feel like had I not went to that New York trip and all this shit happened I would have been so freaking depressed but because I was on that New York trip it gave me like time to kind of get my head off of the situation and to just have fun with my friends and a lot of my friends now we're like in different states like we don't live in the same city only a couple of us live in the same city but even the couple of us that do live in the same city we don't see each other like that because everybody got their own lives to live but it was just fun to recap with my friends and just have fun so I kind of was able to kind of get my mind off the situation right touch back down in Houston I'm back home and you know, I'm back to working again and I had to really work because when I was in New York, I have videos that I had already pre-recorded for you guys, but the Wi-Fi in my Airbnb was trash. So I had not put out no content for like five days. So I was kind of worried. So as soon as I got back to Houston, I was dropping content like crazy and recording because it was coming towards the middle, the, the middle to the ending of the month. And I was like, oh, I need content to push out for this month, you know? End up fil filming the very first part of the Legion series. I end up filming that series. It was that, right? So now we're, 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 getting on with the Legion series. So I'm gonna say about a week after I dropped the first part of the Legion series, about a week or two, about two weeks after I dropped the Legion series, I get a call from Barbara. So I already kind of peeped I was like, I, I already kind of felt like Barbara was going to go back, okay? So when she called me, it kind of confirmed like, yeah, she, she went back, right? So nevertheless, I still answered the phone or whatnot. And I'm like, hey, how are you? And she's like, I'm good. But you could tell like, sorry, y'all. Hold on. My phone is making noise. <laughs> hold on, sorry. I'm trying to turn off my sound. Okay. You could tell that like she's not good. Like she said she was good, but you could tell that she's upset about something. So I'm like, what's the issue? Like what's going on? So she just starts going ham. She's like, Legion is a motherfucking liar. This is and that. Like he been doing this. He been doing that. Like it was just like, you know, it was just a lot. Right. I'm like, what happened? Like what happened? And she ends up telling me that she's going to add me on a call with his other ex-girlfriend. And I'm just looking like, oh my God. Like, what's going on type shit? Like, what's going on, right? I'm like, okay. 
So she ends up adding me on the phone with the other girl. But around the time that she added me on the phone with the other girl, the other girl was not on the line. Like she wasn't on the phone. Like she was on the phone on the on Barbara's end, but she wasn't on the phone. Like her number was there, but she wasn't on the phone. It looks like she was taking another call. So while she was not on the phone, I ended up talking to Barbara and I'm like, what happened? And so Barbara basically tells me that she finds out about her. I guess Barbara seen her on um, social media following legion i don't know how she found out about her but she went to go dm this girl now we're gonna call this girl what are we gonna call this girl we're gonna call her lucy lucy right so barbara goes and she goes to go dm Lu lucy or whatnot and ask lucy about legion and lucy ends up telling her like yeah i'm his ex this is and that and we still talk like we've been talking about getting back together abcd all this all this all this good shit right so barbara ends up telling her about how i how she contacted me and he was talking to me too so i'm guessing lucy got so mad and she went to go contact legion and was like and you were talking to that that houston girl this is and that and so at this point legion is not happy y'all like he's not happy at all now in my head i'm thinking if you had to do all this that means you went back because Why'd you go con like I was so confused y'all like y'all have to understand like I was so confused and I was just trying to figure out like how did this happen like I thought we just both agreed that we're gonna be done with him whatever other girls he has he has like I've already showed you that he has other girls shouldn't be surprised you know what I mean like how did you find this other girl like what's going on I'm so confused right the other girl ends up coming back on the phone right and the other girl comes back on the phone Barbara introduces us and she's like Lucy I have Irene on the phone this is the girl in Houston that he talked to this is da 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 so Lucy ends up saying hi to me I say hi to her and she's just asking me questions about him like she's just asking me like when did you meet him and all this and all this this stuff and I'm just answering the questions and then she tells me how she's his ex and she lives in the DMV area too but she does not live in the same city as Barbara so she tells me yeah I live in the DMV area too and she ends up telling telling us that she met him in 2020 so she met him a year before Barbara met him and so we're talking and stuff and she asked me um, she she says that she was supposed to be getting back together with him. He's been talking about getting back together with her and stuff like that. And I asked her, I'm like, well, why did y'all break up? She tells me that um, they broke up because I guess he cheated. And I'm just thinking, so why are you trying to get back with him? But shit, that ain't none of my business. You feel me? At this point, I wiped my hand clean with this boy. Like I after the situation happened that day in the airport, I just moved on with my life. I didn't want to deal with it anymore. I didn't care to deal with the situation anymore. I just wanted to move on with my life and keep it pushing. Like I did not reach out to Legion anymore. I didn't do anything. Like I just wanted to move on with my life, tell my story to you guys, and keep it pushing, right? At this point, she ends up asking me why did Legion cut me off? And I tell her why. I tell her that he cut me off because I hit him. And she ends up saying, oh, I'm, she, she ends up like saying, Lucy ends up saying, yeah, he, uh, I said, I don't know. He was yelling about something about his ex hit him. Were you the ex? She ends up telling me that she was the one that hit him. She was like, yes, I hit his ass. I hit his ass so badly. I guess, I'm guessing Lucy, I guess he was cheating or he did something to her and Lucy like punched him in the mouth and like knocked out one of his teeth. One of Legion's teeth are fake like they're not even real he had to go get dental work on it because she knocked one of his teeth out before. She said that she's hit him several times for different reasons throughout the years. So in my head I'm like okay then this is probably the ex that he was talking about that used to beat on him and stuff like that. And so um in my head I'm like and she said that like she still be hitting him and so in my head I'm like oh this is probably why he cut me off he, he probably don't need two bitches hitting on him he probably only used to one he don't need two of them hitting on him now so at this point in time it's just crazy on the phone like all three of us are talking Barbara's talking I'm talking and Barbara keep like Barbara is like sending me a whole bunch of screenshots like she's sending a whole bunch of screenshots and she's trying to tell me why she got into it with him again but all I'm thinking is, so you went back. Like, that's just all, like, that's the only thing that my brain is processing. Like, my brain is only processing, you went back. So, while she's talking to me, I just end up telling her, you went back? Like, like, <laughs> y'all, like, I just couldn't think of anything. Like, 
even when she was sending me screenshots, I wasn't paying attention to it because my only thought process was, you went back. Like, why'd you go back? Like, why'd you go back? And it's not no judgmental stuff because when we're ready to be done, we'll be done. But like, what made you go back? Like, what made you go back? So I asked her, I was like, you went back? And she ends up like, all of a sudden, she 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 went from talking in a high tone when she was talking shit about him to talking low. I'm like, oh, no, nah, bitch, I'm gonna need you to raise that tone up. Like how you had it rose when you were talking shit about him. So she's like, yeah, I went back. And I'm like, oh, I thought you said you wasn't gonna go back. Because she was so adamant about how she's done with him. Because I even told her on the phone before we got off the phone. I said, I'm not, I don't know you. And I said, and I know you and him have longer history. I said, so you might go back to him. I said, but just keep in mind, I'm not the only girl. Like, I'm not the only girl he was talking to. He was talking to many other girls, just in case you ever think about going back. I'm just letting you know that now. Like, I'm not the only girl. And when I said that, she was like, girl, I am not going back. Like, she was so adamant. Like, she was like she kind of low-key got offended at the fact that I said she might go back it was not me trying to be offensive or anything it was just me being logical these people have a longer history than me and him I I don't know this girl but like her going back it would be a bad thing but at the same time it wouldn't be something so out of the norm because she has longer history with this guy and this is his actual girlfriend you know what I mean he went back I'm like girl this is in my head I'm like this is what I was trying to tell you on the phone. Like, this is what I was trying to tell you that I'm not the only girl you have to worry about. And this is why I was trying to tell you not to go back. Because, look, now you found somebody new and now you're mad all over again. But had you cut him off when he did what he did to us, you would not feel like this. Like, you would not be mad. Like, you can tell that this time that Barbara called me, she was way more mad than she was the first time that she called me, right? So, um, I asked her, I'm like, so you went back? And she's like, yeah, I went back. And I'm like, what, uh, why'd you go back? And she's like, well, Legion told me that like you were like the, like the main girl in Houston that he was talking to. And he said that the rest of the other girls, uh, no, no, this is what she said. She said, well, Legion told me that you were one of the main girls that he was talking to and you and him, y'all weren't talking anymore. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, Legion was talking to other girls in Houston, right? She's like, well, Legion told me that like you were the main girl, like something like that, something along those lines. I don't know if Legion told her like, the rest of the girls that I talked to are not important or they're just like, I don't know what he told her, but he basically tried to make it seem as if like, I guess Legion was trying to make it seem like I was the main girl in Houston that he was really sleeping with. Like he wasn't sleeping with the other girls that he was texting. I guess that's the, that's the type of thought that he got through to her head. Like I was just the main girl. Like the rest of the girls were just not really people that he was sleeping with which it was a bold face lie but you know whatever she want to believe that you know that don't got nothing to do with me you know so when she told me that I was just like oh okay like I didn't know what to say about that like I didn't I didn't know what to say about that like I just was like oh, okay so um at this point Lucy ends up telling her I just got off the phone with Legion and he's denying you and I'm like denying who because she didn't really say Irene, I just got off the phone with Legion and he's denying you. She didn't say, Barbara, I just got off the phone with Legion and, and, and he's denying. Like, she just said, I just got off the phone with Legion and he's denying you. So, we both was like, denying who? And in my honest opinion, I didn't care if Legion was denying me because I just kind of felt like I'm done with him anyway. So, it don't matter to me if he's denying me. Like, I don't care. Like, we're both done with each other. Like, it's over type shit. She ends up saying, Barbara, he's denying you. And so Barbara gets so mad and she's like denying me. <laughs> she like laughing and she's like denying me. Like this is my whole nigga. Like I have text messages. I have this. I have that. And he denying me. Like you can tell she felt some type of way. And um, Lucy like yeah he denying you. And she's like what did he say? Like she was like what was he telling you? So I'm guessing when Lucy wasn't on the phone with us. Lucy went to go confront Legion and she ended up calling him about um, Barbara. And she sent all the receipts that Barbara sent to her. She sent them to him. And do y'all know what this boy said? <laughs> y'all, oh, before I continue, let me give a description to Lucy. Okay, let me give a description to Lucy. Lucy is this dark skin, skinny girl. Like, she's skinny. And she's dark skin. And she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. Um... Yeah, that's just really her description. She's dark skinned. She's very skinny. Like, she's the complete opposite from us. Like, she's not thick 
I'm not gonna. I'm, she's not thick at all. Like she's a petite. I'm not gonna say she's extremely skinny, but she's a small. She's a she's a small girl. Like she's a small girl, and she's like um, dark skin, and she's pretty. She's pretty, and so um, Legion didn't really have a type. Like he talked to everybody. I've seen um, white girls in his phone. I've seen Asians in his phone. I've seen big girls. I've seen small girls. I've seen thick girls in his phone. Like he doesn't have a type. Like he talks to, he talks to anyone that he, he, he told me that too, in the beginning of us dating, because I asked him, I'm like, Legion, what's your type? He said, I don't have a type. I talk to whoever looks pretty, like whoever I find is pretty in the face. That's who I'm going to talk to. Right? So this girl was pretty. And so, um, she went to go confront Legion about Barbara. And guess what Legion says? Legion says, do you really think I will fuck with that ugly ass well? He called Barbara a well, y'all. He called her a well. This is his girlfriend. This ain't, this, this, this is not a girl that he just smashing on. This is his girlfriend. He called her a well. And at this point, we all, like, me and Barbara gasped on the phone. Like, we're like, like, you literally just hear, <gasps> like, because it's like, nah, like, this guy's taking it way too far. Like, this guy's getting completely out of hand. At this point, Lee just starts denying. He's like, I would never fuck with that well. Hell not. Nah. Hell not. Nah. So Lucy's like, there's screenshots, uh, Legion. There's screenshots. Like, what do you mean you would never fuck with that girl? Like, there's screenshots. You know what this boy says? Do y'all know what this boy says? This boy says, that's my sugar mama. This boy says, that's my sugar mama. And so it's crazy because at the same time, me and Barbara said, what? And she was like, yeah, he called you a sugar mom. He said that you're his sugar mom, that you just pay for his things and stuff like that. And in my head, I'm like, I fucking knew this is how this nigga saw this girl. I knew that this, like, the, when she was telling me all the things she bought for him and all this stuff like that, like, I off rip knew that this guy was using this girl. And the thing is, because people were upset at me because I said that I don't find her attractive and I'm going to still stand on what I said. I mean, no, people were upset at me because I said I don't find her that attractive. But it was the God honest truth. Like, I didn't find her that attractive. And it went into this story time because when I first seen the way that she looked and I and she was telling me about how she was paying for all his things, I off rip knew that he was using her for money. And another thing is people were upset at the fact that I said that he was using her for money and was basically saying, oh, he was using you too. Please, 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 y'all. I told a, a a seven part series about how this nigga was using me. I think we know he was using me, but it's now time to talk about how he was actually using his actual girlfriend. He was actually using his girlfriend. What I was trying to get you guys to understand was this was not a regular case of someone cheating because there is a difference between a guy that's just cheating because he's a womanizer and, you know, he just wants to get his rocks off. And there's a difference between a guy that has a girlfriend that he's actually using for his own gain, whether it's sexually or financially or whatever he wants to use her for while he's dealing with other women. And that's what I was trying to get you guys to understand. And the reason why I was trying to get you guys to understand that was because in my head, I always thought to myself, there's another girl. There's some other girl out here that he really, really, really loves. There's some other, there's some other, there's some other girl out here that he really loves and it's not her. Like I knew that it wasn't Barbara at all. It happened to be Lucy. That's the one that was his love. So at this point, Barbara gets into an uproar, y'all. No. So then do you, guys, I don't know if, if I ever told you guys about this situation. There was a time that I asked Legion, I, me and Legion were talking about trips. Cause I don't know if you guys remember, like it's so many trips, but I don't know if you guys remember the viral video with that girl who had went viral cause she went on a girl's trip and y'all know, y'all know those videos be going viral once every couple of months. So me and Legion, we were talking about that. Like we were talking about girls trips and he was asking me like, why do y'all do that on trips? And we're just having a conversation about that. This is when me and him were cool. So we're talking and stuff and I asked him, have he ever had a bad trip? And he's like, yeah, with his ex. And I'm like, oh, what happened? So Legion tells this story that um, 
he broke his phone before the trip and so he had to take his iPad with him and he said that um his ex was mad one night because he was taking forever to get ready for something his ex was telling him to get ready but he was playing on his iPad him and her got into an argument and she swung his iPad across the room and broke it so I was just like what like I was like what and he's like yeah and all this but in my head I just I didn't really believe him like I didn't believe that somebody could break your iPad all because like you were taking forever to get ready like I didn't believe that I brought that story up I don't know what made me bring that story up I think we were just talking about how much he lies and I don't know I never believed that story so I was like well let me bring it up to them maybe they might know the full story Lucy ends up telling me girl that is not what happened and I'm like what happened this boy he this what he said is true see see the thing with Legion is Legion tells a little bit of the truth and then it just alters into a lie so quickly. So she says that um, Legion was, his phone did break and so he did have to bring his iPad on the trip. And he kept messaging a girl on his iPad and the girl and his girlfriend seen it. And so she broke the iPad. She swung it across the room and broke it. So he was cheating. So in my head, I'm like, so... You have already had a girl come to you as a woman before, if you know that. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm thinking in my head. So I'm thinking, like, why are we all staying? Like, <laughs> and, I, and and it's not like, like, why? Like, and I'm not even talking about Barbara. I'm not even talking about Lucy. I'm talking about all of us. Why do we continue to stay with this fuck nigga? Now, granted, one thing about me. Let me tell y'all something. And I know some people ain't gonna believe it, but I'm gonna tell it to you straight. No chaser. Once I find out, once I get actual confirmation that you have a girlfriend, we're done. We're done. This situation has happened to me before, and I cut the boy off with ease. He still be trying to talk to me to this day. Nah, because you would do that to me. You know what I mean? So I, granted, have never been confronted by a girlfriend, but I was still going back to him through the stupid stupidity of his actions and all, right? But in my head, I'm just thinking, why do we keep going back? Like, you've already told me that this guy, um... Like, for you to know this story, that means a girl came to you as a woman and y'all had a discussion about it. So that means that, like, you went back to this guy. Like, you're dealing with this guy again. Then we got Barbara, who was talking to me on the phone. I'm never going back. I'm never going back. And she's going back. And now she's screaming and crying and shit. Mind you, while Lucy is talking about um the situation with the iPad, Barbara is still, like, talking about the fact that Legion called her a sugar mama. Like, Barbara was not happy about that. She was like, I ain't no fucking sugar mom. He spent money on me, too. So how the fuck? am I sugar mom this is and that like I cannot believe that he would call me that blase blase this is and that and I'm just like in my head I'm like I'm not surprised like I wasn't surprised that Legion called her that at all y'all because Legion is full of shit like I'm not surprised he called her that like I just wasn't surprised right so Barbara starts talking to me I I don't know how this came into play but Barbara told me that Legion said that the reason this is when at this point y'all I was piss so barbara says that when she went back to legion legion said that the reason why he continued to talk to me throughout all those months is because he felt bad for me and in my head i'm like bitch what the fuck is legion feeling bad for me for bitch i feel bad for you you the liar not me <laughs> i ain't the liar what you feel bad for me for and i'm like why is he feeling bad for me and barbara said apparently like he said you don't have no friends and i'm like what y'all when I tell you I'm so confused like I'm like why is Legion lying like if if, if y'all gonna and, and then my thing is this this is my thing if you gonna go back to the to the boy let's say you gonna go back to the boy get my name out of y'all mouth like you two should not still be discussing me like you two should not still be discussing why you did what you did with me like why like why are y'all having these discussions about me and I'm no longer there in the picture. Like, you went back. Why are you having discussions with me and I'm no longer there in the picture? Like, that don't make sense to me at all. You know what I mean? I'm like, 
why were y'all discussing me? Like, I had to ask her. And she was like, uh, like, okay, well, I was just asking him, like, what, like, what made him stay with you for all those months? In my head, I'm like, why, though? Like, you said that you're done with, you, you said you were done with him, but you're really not. So, if you're gonna go back, why are you, why are you still worried about me? Like, I'm no longer in the picture at all, honey. Like, why do you feel, still feel the need to ask Legion about me? Like, I just didn't get it. Like, my brain wasn't processing why she would do that. So, then... She says that Legion says that the reason why he did not leave me alone is because he felt bad for me because I didn't have no friends. I said, me? <laughs> me? I don't have no friends? Y'all. Yeah. He said, I don't have no friends. So I said, what is he talking about? Well, he said that there's this one girl that you always hang out with. And he said that you and her got into a fight with each other over him. I said, over him for why? And then she said, I'm not sure. Something about like, she told you that he needs to, um, uh, there's something that he needs to do. And you got mad at him because she told, because she told you, uh, because you told her not to tell her what to do with him. And you and her got into a fist fight and you beat her up. So y'all not friends anymore. And she was the very last friend. In, uh, in your life so after that he felt bad for you so that's why he started hanging out with you a lot because you didn't have no more friends and he also said that you were saying that you wanted to kill yourself and he didn't want you to kill yourself so that's the reason why he still continued to um be friends uh be a uh, hang out with you and y'all when i tell you i don't know <laughs> i don't know what it was in me that i went into a rage i went into a rage because in my honest opinion like i'm telling you if i'm confiding in you and telling you that i'm depressed right you somebody that i'm dating and i'm telling you that i'm depressed that means in some way shape or form i trust you you get what i mean like i trust you with my mental health to express my mental health and you turned my mental health into a joke by lying to someone and telling someone that I said I was going to kill myself, which I never told Legion that I was going to kill myself. Never. Never even gave off suicidal vibes. I was just depressed. You know what I mean? And I, I, I'm, I'm, and, and the thing is, I never wanted to tell Legion I was depressed. That's, I think that's the thing that kind of made me so like mad because I don't like talking my feelings out like right now i'm in therapy and like my therapist be asking me questions and i don't know how to answer it because i really don't like feeling vulnerable in front of other people like i really don't like i don't like feeling vulnerable in front of other people unless like i'm really good friends with the person that we've been friends for years like if i don't know you like that or if i'm just getting to know you i don't like feeling vulnerable with people and I didn't even want to tell Legion that I was depressed. Not because I didn't trust him or I was worried or nothing. I just did not want to be vulnerable. I didn't even really want to tell this guy that I was struggling with my mental health at that time. But I was kind of like forced to tell him because around that time period that I was really going through my depression, I kind of stopped messaging him. Like he would message me. I wouldn't respond. Like, you know, so he kind of was like, Irene, what's the problem? Like he peeped, like something's not right. So in that moment, I kind of told him what was going on with me and I remember even telling him I don't even like talking about my feelings because I don't like being vulnerable with people but I just you know I, I you know I'm guessing I told you because you know you keep asking me what's the issue and you see there's an issue and it's crazy because Legion was like you can always confide in me like this is and that like you can always trust me this is and that and so like when that girl was telling me because she didn't just tell me that um that he said I was going to kill myself. She actually went into detail about how I was depressed and, and why I was depressed and stuff. And he told all my personal business about my depression to this girl. And it made me so angry, y'all. Like, I don't think you understand how... I think I was more... I think that's the most angriest. I think the two things that made me angry about Legion was him saying that I was fucking all these guys while I was dating him. But the one that made me the most, like angriest at him not even angry disappointed at him was the fact that he went and told talked about my mental health to somebody 
like he didn't need to do that like he already had the girl again the girl was already back in his life he didn't need to stoop that low to make it seem like I was the help and he was trying to help me and the fact that I don't like talking about my mental health or being vulnerable with my mental health because I never want people to throw it back in my face and I in a way felt that that's what he did by telling that girl that I was so angry like when i tell you i was so angry i was shaking y'all i was so angry so i end up calling my friend because i'm like can i call my friend because at this point in time um lucy was on the phone with her friend like her friend was on the line um barbara had her friend on the uh with her so i was like i need to call my friend the one that he said that i beat up so i called my friend and i end up telling her what happened and my friend is so angry y'all like she's like what is he talking about so my friend went to go um message him and i don't really think i have the screenshots of let me see if i can find it i don't have the screenshots anymore of what my friend sent him but she sent him a long ass message going off on him she was like don't you ever in your fucking life lie on me and irene saying that um irene beat me up she was like we would never get into it over a lame ass nigga like you like she was just going off on him y'all like when i say she was just going off she was just going off i ended up messaging him too because i was just like nah like you're weird uh and he also told another thing that he told uh Barbara was that I was crazy and all my friends felt that I was crazy so that's why he felt bad for me so that's why he continued to talk to me because uh, I was because none of my friends wanted to be my friend anymore because I was crazy this is what he told Barbara and so I told him I said keep my motherfucking name out of your mouth to those girls Barbara and Lucy before I expose your name to my subscribers because at this point y'all I was gonna add him on my Instagram and 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 go off on him like I was gonna do it because I just felt like you just doing too much like you starting to piss me off like if you the, like leave me alone type shit like you've already done weird stuff don't continue the bullshit like leave me alone like you're being weird like I don't like that and then I said you want to lie on my name saying that I'm crazy and I tried to kill myself I said you will kill yourself before I do because like don't you ever in your life try to ever put that on me like the tongue is very powerful don't you ever in your life put that type of shit on me like don't do that shit after that legion got mad he opened the message and he didn't respond but he went to go text lucy and he got mad at lucy and he was basically just going off on her and he was basically saying like you're like you're messy because i i'm guessing um uh, I also texted him too saying and you're lying saying that I was sleeping with all these guys this is and that so he got mad at Lucy for telling for telling me that so he went off on Lucy and he's like you're fucking messy you're you're going around and you're telling people what I said this is and that like you getting this girl riled up um he was basically telling her that she's messy as hell and then mind you this is what he said to her on the phone and let me even pause this real quick so he texted her and he was like, mind you, this is after I texted him. So this is after I sent him what I told him. He went back to text her this stuff, which pissed me off even more. Dragging this shit and honestly is looking obsessive because why so much energy towards a nigga that don't even talk to y'all anymore? If you decided to stay, then that's on both of them. Live with it and move on. Irene was fucking a hundred niggas while I knew her and I did not care. Y'all, when he said that, I, I just started adding him on Instagram and if you guys follow my Instagram around that time period then you guys know like it was crazy that that night like it was going ham that night on Instagram so I just started adding him I added him I put him on my main page and I was just like don't you ever lie on my name like I like if I text you and tell you to leave me alone, why would you go text that girl again and, and tell that girl that? Like, you just looking for trouble. Like, you're looking for trouble with me and you're going to find it. Like, leave me alone. Like, you did what you did. You did weird shit towards me. But you doing all this extra shit for what? Like, leave me alone. And then you over here saying they dragging it. I'm not dragging it. It's your fucking girlfriend that's dragging it. That is doing all this extra ass shit. And is telling me all the shit that you are saying about me. And I'm not liking it. 
question is because leave me alone like keep my name out of your mouth like i'm not worried about you no more you don't need to worry about me anymore so after i put him on instagram a lot of you guys are sliding up on my story you guys are asking me what's going on like a lot a lot of you guys just want to know what's going on like you guys are like what's going on and some of you guys are not playing y'all going y'all start dming legion like y'all are dming him and i'm like yep y'all can dm him because it's like y'all you pissing me off like you pissing me off and you're being mad weird for what so a lot of you guys are dming him and like going off on him telling like basically telling him to leave me alone and you guys are sending the screenshots and y'all going off on him and stuff in the messages or whatnot girl message him back this is lucy now lucy messaged him back and said everyone has screenshots of you you really played in my face all this i love you stuff and then he says bruh i don't give a fuck y'all are weird as hell he was like why would y'all even she said why would you even do this you know what legion says he says it's three billion niggas in this world shut the fuck up and leave me alone with this shit everybody is fucking everyone but what i do it is a problem yeah legion <laughs> you're in a relationship like what like what are we saying like what are we talking about here like what are we really talking about here like it's not making sense like what are we saying legion you're in a relationship of course when you do it it's a problem sir so then he was like all three of y'all had niggas so y'all should all just leave me alone that's what he texted her so i'm like wow like this guy's just weird like he's just mad weird like he at this point legion is mad weird you know in the meantime um lucy barbara asked lucy um does she know his mom and lucy's like yeah i know his mom i visit his mom all the time here come barbara <laughs> i'm like oh my god bro can you stop answering the questions because this bitch yelling like like she a newborn like this bitch yelling like somebody cut her umbilical cord like why is she doing ah, ah, ah. like why is she doing all that for like she y'all she was doing the theatrics and i'm not gonna lie to you i was worried all jokes aside y'all she started throwing up y'all she started throwing up i literally was hearing bleh, bleh. i'm like oh my goodness like this is just too much like y'all i'm angry as hell at legion for talking shit like it's just too much y'all like it's just too much lucy is mad like everybody is mad my friend is mad at him for lying about the fact that he beat that i allegedly beat her up everybody is just ir irritated like everyone is angry at this point so i'm editing the video right now and i even forgot to add this in the third time but i'm gonna add this but when i was on the phone with um lucy and barbara we begin to realize that that legion's mom knew about both of them <laughs> and one 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 like you know one month lucy would go visit her the next month barbara would go visit her and legion's mom acted like everything fine so this nigga mama was in on it too the whole family crazy and you guys are attacking him like y'all are straight attacking him right so um in the meantime that um barbara sent me all those screenshots i didn't read anything because of everything that was going on but after a while i started reading those screenshots and i started to begin to realize that barbara was low-key being a op like barbara was being mad weird and it wasn't just me realizing it my friends were realizing it too and they were messaging me like be careful like that girl is weird like my friends peeped it before i did i'm gonna be honest with you guys and so let me tell you how i began to realize that barbara was be, um like doing stuff for her own her own her own like barbara was doing things to benefit her but let me tell you guys how i found out this is how the situation happened barbara ends up getting back with legion again right now the day that barbara messaged me about legion there's this white girl that legion was messing with that barbara decided to inbox about legion as well the same day the white girl ignored her like the white girl straight up ignored her she opened the message and didn't respond because you know not everybody's a girl's girl not everybody gonna be on the phone with you like i was like i'm trying to help you you know what i mean because i'm done with him but i want you to be done with him too so you can move on but not everybody like that it's some girls that are that are very perfectly fine with being the side chick it's some girls that are like that right 
So when the situation happened with Barbara, she told me that me and her, me and her should go in on Facebook. And there's this group on Facebook titled, we're dating the same guy, something like that. Mind you, I'm not a Facebook user like that. I have my Facebook and I do get on Facebook sometimes to creep or to look for people, but I'm not really a Facebook girl like that. Like I don't get on Facebook. I haven't updated my Facebook posts in years. I got old ass pictures on Facebook. You know what I mean? But she told me that we should get in a group on Facebook. I just told her straight up, girl, I don't get on Facebook like that. And I'm gonna just go on YouTube and tell my story like I don't feel like going to tell my story in a GM full of people I just don't feel like doing that uh, I'm gonna do it on YouTube as like I'm, I'm gonna just do it on YouTube so she was like okay well I'm gonna still go in the um in the in the chat and tell my story and so she ends up doing that so I'm guessing after she messaged the white girl about Legion, the white girl started stalking her page. And I'm guessing the white girl began to realize that Barbara was in the group of like, I think the group was titled, we're, we're talking to the same guy. And so I'm guessing the white girl was like, oh, let me jump in that group. Like, let me see what's going on. Barbara was telling her story. <laughs> As Barbara was telling her story, the white girl decided to go and tell Legion everything. <laughs> That girl said, I ride for my nigga dog. That girl was not playing by her man. She did not care, y'all. Like, she went and told Legion. Like, she went and showed Legion screenshots. She went and told Legion everything. And Legion got mad. He did not like the fact that Barbara went to the um to the Facebook th thing to do what he did. So, Legion confronted um Barbara about it. He got really mad at that. So, Barbara ends up texting the white girl. And this is what she says. She says... I'm just curious of how weak and slimy you will be to take orders from somebody else's man. I wonder how your boyfriend or employer will feel about your friendship and favors. Y'all, this white girl had a nigga. <laughs> she already had a boyfriend, y'all. She was in a relationship. She was creeping around with Legion. And that's the reason why when, um, what you gonna call it, when Barbara went to go message um the white girl about legion the white girl didn't care because in her head she's like i got a nigga i don't care you know i'm pretty sure her and legion's relationship was just a sexual one you know what i mean so i don't think the white girl cared she didn't care so that's what she meant that's what barbara meant by saying i wonder how your boyfriend or employer will feel about your friendship she put in quotations friendship favors like basically saying that she was, she was basically threatening to reach out to her boyfriend and her employers of what she was doing, right? And then, um, cause this girl want to go put her job and everything of where she works. I'm like, girl, why are you putting your information like that on here? Then, um, Barbara tells her, I reported you to the group admins. You better be glad I'm a nice person and that's all I'm doing. Next time a boy gives you directions, please use your brain. Hopefully you can grow up and learn to respect people's safe spaces for women instead of being the it girl for somebody other than your man. So basically, Barbara ends up reporting um, the white girl to the group admin, telling the group admin this girl went and showed him all the screenshots and they kicked the white girl out of the um, out of the out of the thing. So the white girl didn't respond. She went and got mad and i don't like when i tell y'all legion is such a op y'all legion is such a op i personally feel like legion gave that white girl barbara's number because tell me why barbara's not even just barbara's regular number barbara's work number tell me why the white girl started blowing barbara's work phone up going off on her screaming at her and all this stuff so barbara sent a long ass message to legion and i'm not even gonna read it because it is so long and it's just so drawn out it was just so unnecessary and she ends up sending it to legion or whatnot cursing him out going off on him and everything mind you this is when she went back this is at this time when she went back to him or whatnot. So, and that's the thing. Like, she's sitting up here saying that she thought it was just me. Girl, you are a liar. Because I look at, because she sent me screenshots. And I looked at the screenshots and she messaged the white girl the same day that she messaged me. So, she knew it wasn't just me. She knew it wasn't just me. And I'm just looking like, that's when I begin to peek. Something fishy's going on. Like something not right with this situation. So I begin to get silent and just read more and look at dates and I'm just analyzing. Like she's still on the phone throwing up like she's pregnant. Uh, we got Lucy just talking shit like I'm gonna beat his ass again. I'm so happy I knocked his tooth out. I knocked his tooth out again. Like we got Lucy talking like she Floyd Mayweather. I'm just on the phone just really thinking about everything at this point because I begin to realize that Barbara is low-key giving snake vibes and I'm just really thinking about it. So then I go 
go and I look at the next screenshot and she's talking about it. She's like, yeah, that white bitch. While Barbara's throwing up, in the middle of her throwing up, she's like, that stupid white bitch tried to do this. this is like, she's trying to tell the story of what the white girl did. Barbara comes back a couple of days later to Legion. After going off on Legion and texting him and cursing him out, mind you, Legion didn't even respond. She comes back and she ends up apologizing for her behavior. And that's the thing with a narcissist. A narcissist will have you apologizing for something they did. <laughs> so... She comes back and she apologizes for her behavior and Legion ends up telling her, oh, thank you for apologizing, blase, blase. So then she basically just tells him, I really want us to work. I think we should go to couples therapy and Legion is agreeing. I'm looking like you guys are foolish. Like both of y'all are foolish at this point. Couples therapy for what? There's no amount of couples therapy that will help this guy. This guy needs to go to an asylum, not couples therapy, but okay, I digress, right? This is what she tells him that made me kind of like, like, I don't know. I just, when, when I read this text message, I just kind of just started to look at her weird. Cause I'm like, I just kind of started to feel like you're being mad weird. And for what? Like I was a girl's girl. Like I was a girl's girl from the beginning. When I first met you, I gave it, I gave you everything that I needed to give you. You were going to go back to this guy. You should not be doing all this shit. If you're going to go back to him, if you knew at the end of it all, if you knew that you were going to stay with this guy, you should not be doing all this extra shit. Like you're being weird. Like, I don't know. Like I, I just started to feel like you're being weird. Like I was nice to you and you're just weird to me. Like she ends up texting him and I guess he's talking about promising her that he's going to move back to Houston, uh, not to Houston, to DMV, promising her that he's going to move back to the DMV area and be with her. He's like, if you are moving back, leave the mattresses that you fucked her on in Houston. Talking about the ones that he, the mattresses that he fucked me on. In my head, I'm like, what was the purpose of that? Because at the end of the day, you were coming to Houston and fucking him on that same mattress in between the times that I was fucking him on that mattress. So I didn't see the purpose of you saying that. Like, you're just trying to be funny for what? Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. Then she said, matter of fact, throw away the whole bed. Like, y'all, am I tripping or is like, is she not being childish? Like, I felt that she was being childish. That's how I felt. I felt that she was being too freaking childish for my own good. Like, why are you saying that? Like, you trying to like, like, what is the purpose of you? Like, why are you saying that? Like, you're trying to be funny for what? Like, for what, babe? I'm very clean. Like, you're trying to be funny for what? I didn't like that. Like, I would not say something like that. I would not make comments like that. Like, if you're going to go back, you're going to go back, bro. Don't do that. Like, if you're going to go back, you're going to go back. Don't do that. She says, and I want a tattoo. Like, because y'all remember how I told y'all that Legion started promising her things? So she starts telling him what she wants. She says, I want a tattoo. I'm going to send you a sketch of some ideas and gifts. I want hella gifts. And I want a real heartfelt remorse. I want a letter. You supposed to be outside my window with a, with a radio in the rain or something. Down on your knees bending. Listen to some 90s music for ideas. Laugh my ass off. Anyways, have a good trip. I hope you had time with your family. I guess he was going on the trip, whatever, who cares? Then he responds back to her and he says, I totally understand. I promise I'll make it up to you. I apologize again. I will I do take this very seriously and I wanna implement the proper change. This has been an eye opener for me. <laughs> Enjoy your trip as well. So that's what happened. That was the last message that he sent to her in the morning. So she didn't reply back to the next day. And this is what she replied back with. <sighs> What's going on? Y'all let me know down below if I'm tripping. Like, y'all let me know down below if I'm tripping. What was the purpose of sending that boy my video? Like, what was the purpose? And mind you, she sent him the video with no context, no nothing. She just sent him the video. She did not say anything. There was no nothing attached to the video. She just sent him the video. So Legion gets mad. And he says... Why are you sending me this bitch again? That's what he texted her. So she says, this tone is not necessary. And he says, I'm asking you a, a, a question, a legit question. Why do you keep sending me this girl? It's a question. She says, this is what she, this is what she said. 
that made me start really looking at this girl and really start analyzing who she really was. She says, I sent you the video so you can see what she was saying about you. Why does Legion need to see what I'm saying about him? He know what he did. Whether Legion wants to admit it or not, Legion knows what he did. He knows the role he played. Deep down inside, Legion knows what he did. Why do you want, like, it's giving very much, ooh, she talking about you. Like, it's giving that energy. It's giving that you want this boy to be upset at me making videos about him. So you can make sure that he never goes back to me again. You can make sure that he never reaches out to me. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. But you trying to make it seem as if like you you try like you trying to make it seem like you you know what I mean? And I asked her because when she because when I started reading the screenshots, I said, Barbara, why would you send him my video? And she says, oh, I sent him the video so I could confront him on certain things in the video. And I said, but that's not what you said. You said that you sent him the video so you can see what so he can see what I'm saying about him. She got silent. What it would be Beyonce say? Look around. Everybody on mute. She got silent. So at this point, I'm like, oh, bitch, you trying to be funny. So it's with me is this is the thing with me. I'm a very sweet girl. Like, believe it or not, I'm a very sweet girl. But when I see that somebody trying to be funny, we can be hilarious. At this point, I didn't care for her no more because I'm like, I'm, I was a girl's girl to you. You reached out to me about this man. I told you what I had to tell you and I kept it pushing. You dragged me back into the mess with this man and you sent me screenshots not thinking that I wasn't going to peep what you were trying to do. You see that I'm beginning to peep what you're trying to do. Now all of a sudden you mute. Why are you mute now? Because you're being messy. You're being messy. So let me tell you what he said. So he questioned the he he questioned the message because she said I want this is what this is what she said she said I want you to know what she's saying about you if you do not want to know then that's fine that has nothing to do with you want to confront him about something in the video babe that don't have nothing to do with that you're trying to be messy and you're trying to make sure that Legion never goes back to me because you're worried because you're all the way in the DMV area and Legion is out here in Houston with me and you're worried that Legion might try to double back or I might try to double back so you're sending him the video so you can make sure that Legion gets mad and he hates me for making the video but you did not think that legion was gonna get mad at you for sending the video you thought that legion was gonna get mad at me for making the video and now that legion is mad you're not happy with the fact that he's mad at you you didn't expect him to get mad at you it backfired on you question that message as he should because in my honest opinion if i was legion i'll be thinking the same thing like why are you sending me this girl you you went back to me you decided to go back to me again stop sending me this girl keep it pushing you know what i mean so she texts him and says why are you questioning this message he texts her back and says what's being said then he said i don't give a fuck about this bitch or anything that she has to say you fanned out you watch this bitch i don't give a fuck about anything that this girl does please don't send me some shit like this about this girl god damn this is what he said she replied back and said fuck you then he said like why are you sending me this it's no way that you thought that this was okay <laughs> Legion has some nerve to say it's like Le <laughs> Legion it's no way that you thought cheating was okay it's no way that you thought using people for money was okay it's no way that you thought lying was okay okay but you did it right you did it oh, okay so don't tell people what like Legion has nerve Legion has nerve that's one thing about that boy that's some nerve so then he turns around and he says like I'm gonna spend time watching this bitch lie for views then she said, I'm done with this conversation. You are not about to talk to me crazy off of some shit that you did. I said, if you wanted to know what was being said. So she doubled down. She confirmed that that's what she was trying to do. Do you like, and, and I know it's going to be some people in the comments because the, the, the thing with this series of what I've noticed is it's a lot of new people watching me. So they don't really know me like that. And there's also some people watching me that have been watching me for a while and they think I'm the problem in every situation. And you guys want me to be wrong in this specific. I'm not talking about the other series. The other series where I said I was wrong, I called out my bluff and said I was wrong before you guys told me that I was wrong. But in this specific part of the series, I was not wrong in no way, shape, or form with anything. I tried to move on after I found out what happened and I tried to mind my business. The people are dragging me back in the mix and it's being and, and it's being shady. You are lying to me. You're trying to say that you were trying to figure out 
uh, uh, what was being said so you could tell him, look what was being said about you. But then you turn around and you tell me that you sent him the video so you could confront him. Which one is it, sis? Like, it's not making sense to me. Like, something not adding up. You know what I mean? She says, to say I'm fanned out off a bitch that you was fucking is in fucking saying. The bitch was just at your fucking house. So if I want to know and I'm still wrapping my head around all the lies you keep telling, I have the right to know. I sent you the link and I didn't say anything else. I didn't even say nothing crazy to you and I'm fanned out fuck you don't say shit to me then he said please stop sending me this girl i'm begging you i'm not subscribed to her you are i don't watch her videos you do so let's keep it that way <laughs> do y'all not know how bold legion is like legion legion don't care y'all legion don't legion is sick in the head he don't care so then she says I'm not subscribed to her and I don't keep watching her videos. You continue with this passive aggressive dismissive bullshit and I told your ass don't say shit else to me. It didn't even have to be all that. You got defensive and you took it there. I have the right to be angry and hurt still. I didn't say nothing crazy to you. It really shows your true colors and your summation of our relationship. Your only concern is your feelings and I go right along with it making space for your feelings. You can never do the same for me. I should have never even responded back to you again in the first place. That's what she texts him. So she sends me all that. And I don't know whether she thinks that I'm that I'm going to read that and say, you go, girl. Hi, hi. Oh, whoa. Like, I don't know what did she think I was going to say from that. But in that moment, I just started to think like, you're weird. Like, you're weird. Like, I, I like I just really started to think you're weird. But in this moment, y'all, this girl is throwing up. She's throwing up, saying that she can't breathe. She's saying that she's about to pass out. So I'm thinking that she is weird, but my main priority is to make sure that she's fine. So I'm not going to go confront her or, you know, be mad or nothing, but I'm really analyzing it like, oh yeah, you weird. But my main priority is to make sure that she's fine. So I'm talking to her best friend and I'm like, are you good? Like, do you have her? Because she keeps saying, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Like, and I'm like, breathe. Like me and Lucy are like talking to her on the phone, making sure that she's fine. Like we're trying to make sure that she's fine because this girl is hyperventilating and acting like she's about to pass out in my honest opinion the only reason why this girl was doing all this extra shit is because she began to realize that this nigga she found his true love that's why she was doing all that extra shit it's because she found his true love she found out that his true love was lucy and it wasn't her that's the reason why she was doing all that extra ass shit crying hyperventilating and all that because she wasn't crying and hyperventilating when she found out about me because she didn't take me serious but when she found out who he really loved that's when she started doing all that extra theatrics. And another reason why she was doing all that extra theatrics is because um, he called her a well and said she was a sugar mom because she kept bringing that up or whatnot. So then Lucy was talking to us and Lucy was just so angry. And Lucy was saying that she feels like she's sacrificed so much for legion and like she like she's been through so much with him and so she was talking to us and she basically told us that legion wanted her to move to houston with him like and she didn't want to move something told her don't move to houston with that boy like something told her don't do it and legion was not happy like he was not happy at the fact that um, she didn't want to move to Houston with him. For Legion's flight to Houston, the last day in the DMV, before he officially moved to Houston, he came to her house hours before his flight and begged her, y'all, begged her to move to Houston with him. And she just kept telling him, no, Legion, I'm not moving to Houston. I'm not moving. She said something just told her, do not move to Houston with him. And he was telling her, like, I'll pay, I'll pay the bills. Like, just please, like, I'm begging you, please move to Houston with me. And she just put her foot down. Here come Barbara. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. It got to the point where my friend texted me and was like, she doing too much. Like my friend texted me that and my friend was like, she's doing entirely way too much. And I started to feel like that too. Cause it's like, girl, you're just doing too, like y'all, I kid you not y'all. I could not hear Lucy talk. Like she was screaming so loud. Like even her best guy, best friend was telling her she was doing a lot. Her guy, best friend, he was gay. He was like, girl, all this over this nigga, like calm down. Like, you doing too much like she, he was like you really about to mess up your health risk your like risk your health and everything over this guy like because she kept saying like i'm about to pass out i'm about to pass out she was falling on the ground like y'all she was doing too much like she was i'm sorry like she was doing way too much and it was scaring me because i was like i hope this girl doesn't really pass out behind this situation like this is just too much i don't even know how my camera ended up cutting off this part of the video i don't even know how but Basically, we were comparing dates and there was this one time that Legion had went to homecoming 
for his homecoming, he went back to the city. And when he came back, I'm like, oh, how was your homecoming? And he's like, oh, it was good, blase, blase, all this good stuff, right? And I'm like, oh, okay. He said, yeah, but I had to end it shortly because something happened with my with my partners and stuff like that. So I was like, what happened? And he didn't really give me the full story, but he basically said that they got into some mess. And I low-key believed him because everybody was saying that. Because I know people that went to that homecoming and they said it was a lot of drama going on that weekend. So we were comparing dates and come to find out, Legion was staying with Barbara during homecoming. So the whole time that Legion was texting me while he was in the DMV area, at homecoming making it seem like he was with his guy friends he was hanging out with his guy friends but he was staying at barbara's house and then barbara told lucy that legion told her that it was an emergency with one of his friends that he had to go um uh check on one of his friends because one of his friends was in trouble and when we compared the dates we found out that this nigga legion lied and said that something happened to his friends so he could go see lucy and Barbara let him use the car. So Barbara's asking Lucy to describe how the car looked. And Lucy is describing Barbara's car. And you guys already know. This girl, ah, 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 screaming and crying and shit. And I'm guessing Lucy, like, license plate is very girly-like. So she was asked, I mean, not Lucy. Barbara's license plate is very girly-like. So she was asking Lucy, like, did you not see how, like, my license plate looked? Like, it was very girly. How did it you know it was a car? Because I'm guessing how did you know it was a girl's car because i'm guessing legion lied to lucy and said it was his rental and they were in the back of barbara's car kissing and touching on each other so y'all know barbara started crying and doing the theatrics again and i'm just looking like this is just too much and the fact that legion came home and continued that lie with me says how crazy he is because when i asked him how was homecoming he really could have just been like oh it was good like i had a good weekend and that would have been that but the fact that he continued a, the lie with me, it's like he believes his lies. That's what I'm starting to feel with him. Like, I'm starting to feel that Legion actually believes the lies that he make up in his head. Because he really didn't need to tell me that. Like, when we really think about it, he really did not need to tell me that. He could have just been like, homecoming was fun and I would have not questioned him no more. But the fact that he came home to Houston and he lied and made up the same story that he made up to Barbara so he could go see Lucy in Barbara's car is mind-boggling like this guy was sick y'all he was sick so lucy's telling us that then she turns around and she tells us how she ended up losing all her friends over him and i'm like how did that happen she tells us i don't know i don't really i wasn't really listening to the story but long story short she introduced her friends her group of friends to legion one time they all went out to eat she said she went to the restroom and she came back and by the time she came back the vibes were off she said that legion started telling her that her friends were talking shit about her and all this shit and i'm guessing she went to go confront her friends her friends got mad at her for, for believing it they all cut her off the whole group cut her off she basically was telling us like she didn't have no friends because of legion legion was telling her it's okay it's okay um you got me you don't need them them girls are fake anyways like you don't need friends like that they're weird this is and that and y'all know the funny thing you know the girl that legion said that i beat up he was trying to get me to stop being friends with her too i remember when we were dating he was telling me i don't need to be friends with her he was like i don't think you should be friends mind you this girl i've been knowing this girl since high school we go back 10 years type shit so i'm looking like who do you think you are that you're gonna come in my life and tell me who I need to be friends with? I've been friends with this girl since 10 years ago. Like, who do you think you are? And I had to check him on that. Like, I checked Legion on that real quick. And I was like, nigga, don't you ever think that you can tell me who I need to be friends with and who I don't need to be friends with? He never questioned me again about that girl. He tried to do the same thing. And my thing is, I think Legion had a way of trying to isolate you so he can really have control over you and that's what he tried to do with me but i think legion pete in the early stages of dating me that i wasn't that type of girl like i wasn't like that type of girl to let a guy control my whole life i just wasn't so he never tried that with me again but he successfully successfully did it with that girl that girl said that the whole friend group cut her off even the girls who'd even come out that night to eat with them cut her off for believing him and she said that she didn't have no friends after that she was miserable she said her life went downhill after that and she said legion just kept saying it's okay you got me now you got me now i was just like this guy is sick like when i tell y'all i i just i couldn't believe it like i just i couldn't believe how sick this guy was because like legion never gives off this vibe that he's this sick so like it just was bad like it was just bad everybody is mad now at this point you guys are still going on um 
Instagram and attacking him. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. So after a while, um, Barbara says she needs to get off the phone because she says she can't breathe. So Barbara ends up getting off the phone. Lucy ends up getting off the phone. At this point, I'm just on the phone now with my friend and my other friend. And I'm just telling my other friend what happened. My other friend is like, oh my God, like this is just way too much. Like this is just entirely way too much. This is getting out of hand. I'm pissed. Like everybody's just mad and angry. At this point now, we're in the GM with Barbara and Lucy. I'm in the GM with them. So you know, I'm hitting up Barbara and I'm like, is, are you okay, Barbara? Like, are you good? Like, I'm still checking on her to make sure that like she good or whatnot. And she ends up calling him to confront him about everything. Calls him and she confronts him about everything. And then she ends up calling, um, calling, um, calling me back. I'm like, are you okay? Like, I, I'm not worried about him at this point. I'm just trying to make sure she's fine because I kid you not, y'all. If you even ask my friend, the way this girl was screaming and crying on the phone, it was concerning. Like, all jokes aside, like, it was mad concerning. I'm not even worried about him at this point. I'm just trying to make sure she good. So, she get on the phone. I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, still crying but like you could tell she calmed down at this point he's like yeah like you know like i'm okay like i'm okay or whatnot he's like um you know i'm just i just i can't believe that he did this like this isn't that like, i just can't believe that he did all this this isn't that i like i don't even know what to say this isn't that uh blase blase and i and uh i asked her i'm like so what did he say when you confronted him she basically said that he was yelling at her saying that we're all doing too much and he said that he he said that she's so disrespectful for sending for telling her for telling me what happened um and and the things that he said about me because now she, i took it to social media and you guys were attacking his ass and he didn't like that and so he was saying that that was so disrespectful of her to do that to him and then he also was saying that um he he respect he, legion is a gaslighter legion was talking about some i respected you and you know why i respected you i respected you because you never put your hands on me he said irene and lucy they put their hands on me and that's why i never respect them and we're shit with them i'm like legion i don't give a fuck what you respect like i don't care about what you respect who do you think you are please let me know who you think you are i don't care what you respect boy little boy i don't care what you respect i don't respect you either like don't talk to me like that so she ends up telling me that he said that and i'm like i don't care like I, i'm telling her like i don't care so i just told her i'm like well you know i'm about to get off the phone but you know you just need to calm down like don't let this boy get you worked up like just calm down you know after we get off the phone about a good 30 minutes later she types in the gm and she says lucy i'm so sad i think she said lucy i'm so sad i don't know how i could fall for this situation and lucy ends up texting back something like it's okay it's okay girl he's a narcissist and a pathological liar and that's the funny thing i felt that he was a narcissist and a path pathological liar and i never mentioned it on the phone like i never said he's a narcissist and i never said that he was a pathological liar on the phone his girlfriend since 2020 clocked it within how many minutes how many minutes did she clock that so for you guys who still feel like like this guy is not a narcissist and a pathological liar i must continue to say it. i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you then we got people talking about some you will not diagnose you cannot diagnose him you cannot i said what i said i said what i said oh, don't like it. i showed sure down don't like it well, i said what i said As and always. i'm not changing on it okay okay that's it. yeah uh <laughs> now let me stop but yeah so then um what you would call it she was like girl like you can't blame yourself like he like you know he's weird like you can't blame yourself for his actions this girl comes in the gm and says i think he really loves you lucy i think you're the girl that he really loves After everything we discussed on this phone tonight, and that's what you're worried about? You're worried about your, who he really loves? That's what you're really worried about? I'm not surprised. I knew that's what you were mad about. Because you wasn't throwing up and about to pass out and everything when you were on the phone with me. You're throwing up and you're about to pass out and shit because you figured out that that's the girl that he really loved. And it wasn't you. And I knew it wasn't you. I had a feeling it wasn't you when you were talking about all the money you spent on him and all this shit. 
Mind you, well, we talked to Lucy. Lucy said she don't spend nothing on him. He spends everything on her. And so when she said that, Lucy was like, girl, it don't matter. Like, he played all of us. Like, it don't matter. And, and that's what I was thinking in my head. Like, girl, he played us all. He played even Lucy, the one that he really loved. And in my heart of hearts, I do believe that Legion was in love with Lucy. I just think that because Lucy, Lucy kind of reminded me of me. Like, Lucy was a firecracker. She was always confronting him about things. She didn't always agree with his bullshit. Someone like Barbara was very, very submissive. She was very, you know, she was just a very submissive person, a very forgiving person, always buying him stuff. Like she was always doing something for him. So that's why he started dating Barbara more. And that's why he liked dating Barbara more. But I do feel like Lucy was his true love. So, um, she's like crying in the GM talking about he loved you because you you met his uncles and you met I'm like oh my god I'm not even typing in the GM at this point because I'm just like bro this is so tired like I'm over it at this point like I don't even care no more because I'm like girl you're weird like this is just mad weird and Lucy's just trying to tell her girl he played us all like he played all of us he even played me even the girl that y'all saying that he loved he played me too so it don't matter like she's trying to get her to understand it doesn't matter he played all of us. and she's like no no then lucy stops responding to her guess what she does she comes in the gm again like 10 minutes later and she says that she regrets hitting us up she should have never hit us up and that she this is what she typed she says i should have never reached out to y'all we were gonna go to couples therapy this is all my fault <sighs> y'all in that moment in that moment i was done with her I was done. I was mentally, physically, emotionally done with her. I was done with her because it confirmed what I thought that she was doing. And this is what this girl was doing. This girl was hitting up all of Legion's girls so everybody can leave Legion alone so she can ride off into the sunset with Legion. That was the purpose of what she was trying to do. But it backfired because throughout the time process of her hitting everyone up and collecting all her ducks in a row, she found out who Legion's true love was. That's number one. And number two, she found out that Legion didn't really love her like that. So it backfired. She thought that all these girls were going to leave, leave, um, <coughs> leave leave legion alone and she thought that legion was gonna be remorseful and 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 saying sorry like how he was with me <clears throat> the only reason why legion was remorseful and saying sorry with me is because legion was done with me by the time she confronted him about me and everything like that he was done with me because i hit him he didn't want nothing to do with me no more after i hit him but that's the only reason why legion was being remorseful with her about me. When she went and hit up the one that he really loved, he was not having it no more because in his head, and he said this, he said, if you're gonna go back to me, then then I don't, like, why are you still doing that? Like, why are you hitting everybody up still? That's how he felt. And it's a valid question, all jokes aside. So when she came in the GM talking about, I regret hitting y'all up. We were gonna go to couples therapy. I was done with her. I, I was done with her. I stopped typing in the GM because I just felt like, you're weird as fuck. I was having a good day. I was chilling. I was minding my business. I was never going to hit this guy up again or deal with this guy. I was just gonna tell my story and move on. And you came and disrupted my whole entire evening. And at the ending of you disrupting my whole entire evening, you back door and say you regret hitting me up. Like, it was just mad weird. Like, I just was done with her, y'all. Like, all jokes aside, I was done with her. I didn't care for her no more. I seen the shit that she was typing in the GM. I, I, I don't even, um whatchamacallit have a screenshot of uh what she typed it but there was another screenshot that she sent me where she was calling me all type of bitches in the gm like um to him to him and she sent it to me i'm like why are you incriminating yourself like i don't know whether this girl thought that i was gonna look at the messages and and not look at her sideways but i was looking at her every bit of sideways when she sent me these messages like she was like you fucked with that bitch and you did this with that bitch like taking that bitch out on dates like she was typing stuff like that and i just felt like you're just doing too much like you're doing way too much and i'm i'm beginning to not like you type shit like you're doing too much so after that i just stopped typing in the gm lucy stopped typing in the gm too and i'm on the phone with my friends and my friends are like telling me like this girl is weird irene like we're just talking about the situation and we're talking about how weird the girl is and as i'm talking to my friend guess who calls me legion where we gonna stop the story time <laughs> The next story time is going to be the last video. 
after that the story time in the series is over y'all thank the lord this is one of the hardest series i've ever done in my life this is one of the hardest series that i've ever done thank god it'll be over y'all let me know y'all thoughts y'all let me know if i'm tripping y'all let me know if i had every right to be mad at her no i wasn't mad at her but i was just done with her y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation y'all let me know if she was being childish y'all let me know if she was trying to sabotage if she was trying to play both sides y'all let me know how y'all feel in the description but i mean not in the description box in the comment section down below all in all i do feel like barbara was trying to make all the girls mad at him and leave him alone so she can be with him but what barbara don't get about legion is that if it ain't us it's gonna be them and if it ain't them it's gonna be them and if it ain't them it's gonna be them and if it ain't them it's gonna be y'all no i'm just kidding ah! love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye y'all <laughs>